We think about feasting on God's Word. Feasting isn't something that we do alone. And so I think about how the Word of God is like a table. It's like a grand feast that's been prepared for us, that as we come together to it, we're taking in the story together as brothers and sisters. And there's something in that that reflects the glory of God. As a follower of Jesus, I don't just want to know the Word of the Lord. I want to take it on. I want to take it in. I want it to become a part of me. When I'm teaching Bible studies, I call them feast. You're welcome to the feast. We're going to set a table. We're going to come to it together by faith. And we're going to eat upon. We're going to take in the scriptures. And we're going to let them do their work in us. We just have to experience the Word of God together. There's a fullness of taste and experience and trying different things and sharing. And that's the heart of feasting. And it's something that we just don't do on our own. So as I'm in the world and I'm thinking about my relationship with the Bible, that relationship is meant to be also a communal relationship. I don't just want to read a one experience and I don't just want to eat one food. I want like a feast. And that happens when we all come together to the Word of God. <laughs> Feasting on God's Word, it's an invitation for you to set your table, to invite your people to it. I think about Psalm 19, the scriptures are sweeter than honey, than honey from the honeycomb. There's something about experiencing the sweetness of the Word of God and doing it together. So as we all live forward, let's set our tables, let's invite the people that we love the most to it, and let's feast together on the truest and the best story that's ever been told.